Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to use formulas to solve geometry applications. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this geometry word problem. The area of a triangular painting is 126 square inches. The base is 18 inches. What is the height? So let's get a picture here. We have a triangular painting, okay? And they say we, well, every triangle has a height, right here. And they say the base is 18 inches, okay? Our area is the 126 squared inches. And what's our formula for the area of a triangle? These are some things we have to know in our head and be able to apply. Well, area of a triangle is one half base times a height. Well, let's go take that formula and plug in what we know and see if we can find what we're missing. The height, that's what they're asking for, right? So again, area equals one half base times height. We know the area is 126. We have one half our base, 18 inches, not too bad. And we need to find the height, h. So now we're just gonna solve for h, not too bad. The setup was easy, or maybe easy, but we break it apart, we got it. And now we solve for that height. Well, 126 is equal to 1 half times 18, which is good old 9, times an h. Divide both sides by 9, opposite multiplication is division. And 126 divided by 9 is a 14. And our units is inches here. We have a height. So our height here is 14 inches. Now, that was pretty quick. But we want to do is a quick check as well just to make sure we got it right. So I'm going to rewrite my formula here. 126 is equal to 1 half times 18 times 14 just to make sure I did it right. I'm going to see if the left hand side is still equal to the right hand side. Remember I took what I had here and just plugged in that h being the 14. So 126 here is equal to 1 half times 18 is a good old 9 times 14. 9 times 14 is a 126 and look we have our left and right hand side equal our check worked and it's not too uh, long to do the check so it's, it's pretty much worth it almost every time well there we have it we have our triangle has a height of 14 inches and that is our final answer i hope you learned how to use formulas to solve geometry applications here if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel this helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.